join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just naked Ireland. Crossing the peace line into the loyalist part of West Belfast, leading to the Shankill Road, we see that the Union Jack suddenly features in the murals here, which commemorate the battles and campaigns of the First World War. And as we round the corner, we see support for the State of Israel, the exact opposite stance seen on the Falls Road murals that proclaim support for Palestine. Moving into the housing estates on the lower shankle, we are left in no doubt who's in control here. This is an iconic image seen in many loyalist areas. It depicts King William of Orange crossing the Boyne River in 1690. More recent conflicts are celebrated here too. There's much re-imaging happening on the lower shankle and this mural stands proudly supporting the voice of women. This gable wall, like many others in this area, would previously have had murals in support of paramilitaries. Similarly, here's a message where the community is rightly demanding input into its own future. The Lower Shankill Angels mural shows young people from the area posing in the style of a movie poster. The message is one of dynamism and positivity. Again, this replaced a previous paramilitary mural showing the H-blocks. A little further along we see another re-imaged gable wall, this time recalling an incident in 1969 when local children found a hoard of gold sovereigns while digging on waste ground. Many paramilitary murals still exist though. This one commemorates leading UDA member William McCulloch, who was killed by the INLA in 1981. Over here, we see a stark but playful warning to children of the dangers of drugs. If this film has been informative or useful, please subscribe and give it a like. Here's a mural that celebrates the history of the Shankle. As always, the ubiquitous Union flag is everywhere here. But the next mural is probably my favourite on the Shankle. In fact, it's as relevant to the Shankle as it is to the Falls, or indeed any disadvantaged working class area of Belfast.